pandemic has highlighted how important our local social service organizations are. They've helped keep people in their homes, make sure their refrigerators stay full, and also have kept the lights on. That's right. Now a year and a half into the pandemic, the work at Second Harvest Food Bank isn't letting up. Here's KQ2's Mitchell Riberall. The lines may be shorter this time around, but the demand is still higher than what Second Harvest saw pre-pandemic. And what we've seen is that those numbers have not really tapered off to pre-pandemic levels. So there's a lot of kids, a lot of senior adults, a lot of families still struggling in the community. Second Harvest reporting that the demand has decreased this July compared to last July, but it is still nearly 35% higher than pre-pandemic times. Every day, uh, two of our trucks go out with thousands of pounds of food each. And many local residents thankful there is still a place to receive help. With this, this keeps us out of the hole and we keep our nose above water, so to speak. So it, it helps a lot. And with many people going back to work and kids returning to school, residents say these mobile fresh pantries will help the older generation the most. When you look at the people getting out of their cars and open up the rear hatch or the trunk, you see a lot of older people and they have very limited income. So as uncertainty arises and cost of living goes up, uh, this helps everyone out a lot. And with weather permitting, Second Harvest has 40 fresh mobile pantries a month, something 2019 never had. And regardless of how little or how much Second Harvest serves at their fresh mobile pantries, they're just glad to help those in need. And the joy that you see on people's faces as we're loading their cars uh, full of food, um, it, it, is, it is no small thing. I'm just glad Second Harvest is doing this. A lot of people benefit. A lot of people depend on it. Reporting in Savannah, Mitchell Ribberall, KQ2 News. To find more on what Second Harvest future fresh mobile pantries will, where they will be, you can check out this story on our website at kq2.com.